Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Clinical Health with Professor Nanya. If you are a 5th semester CSE student under VTU, then today's video is just for you. We'll break down and understand the VTU Web Technology Lab BCSL 504 and cover the overview of all the experiments and assignments and also understand how you guys will be evaluated throughout. This lab is all about building real websites. You might have seen different kinds of websites like shopping sites, educational websites like LMS, informational sites or video streaming sites like YouTube and many more. So this lab lets you to understand how to create those websites and how to run those. The primary goal of this lab is to give you the practical skills needed to create fully functional websites. We start by learning the foundational HTML elements and layout structures. Then we enhance our designs using CSS. Next, we dive into scripting with JavaScript, including Ajax and jQuery to bring in the interactivity to the websites and real-time data loading. Finally, we integrate PHP to build dynamic server-side applications. By the end of the lab, you will be able to create and host complete website and web applications. This lab is scheduled for two hours a week and carries one credit. Internal evaluation or CIE is for 50 marks and the semester end exams or SEE is also for 50 marks. Since this is a practical course, the final evaluation is completely hands-on. You will be tested on your coding skills, your ability to execute and explain your programs and your documentation that you have written in the test. Now, let's look at the first set of experiments. In the beginning, you will work with the basic HTML pages. You will create your first web page with headings, paragraphs like breaks, quotes, and formatting tags. Then you will create a class timetable using HTML tables, exploring row span, column span and adding colors to rows and cells. After that, you will design external CSS style sheet and apply different styles to elements like headings, paragraphs and divs. Finally, you will design a registration form with various input types styled using CSS. These tasks build your foundation in static web page creation. In the next set of experiments, you'll work with semantic HTML5 elements like article, section, footer, and so on to improve the structure of your web page. Next, you'll be building a JavaScript-based calculator to perform basic operations like addition, subtraction, and square root. Then, you'll use JavaScript to convert JSON data formats and even create a hash from a string using crypto functions. Lastly, you will create PHP program to count the number of page visitors and sort student records stored in a database using selection sort. These experiments focus on dynamic and server-side scripting. Now, let's explore more interactive web development techniques. Using jQuery, you will append content to existing paragraphs and lists, animate elements, and change the color of the animated divs. Then you'll integrate Ajax into your projects, first using pure JavaScript to fetch the data from the text file, and then using jQuery's Ajax method, JSON, and pass JSON methods to dynamically load and process data on your web page. These techniques are used in almost all modern websites. There are two major assignments. In the first, you'll create a multi-page personal website containing your resume and bio data. You'll style it using CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery and host it on a cloud platform. In a second assignment, you'll 
create a functional online registration form using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and PHP. When submitted, the data will be formatted and displayed on the browser. This gives you a real world experience of how online forms work. By the end of this lab, you will be able to design structured websites using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You will be confident in adding interactivity using jQuery and Ajax and capable of building dynamic web applications with PHP. You will also develop the skills to write clean documentation and analyze outputs, key skills in both academia and industries. The continuous evaluation or CIE carries 50 marks. It is split into 60% of the journal writing that is your record and 40% for the lab test. Each experiment write-up is evaluated and a final test is to be conducted by the department. The semester end exams or SEE is also for 50 marks. It includes evaluation of write-up, the experimentation execution and Viva voice. Students must secure a minimum of 40 marks in total to pass this. The SEE is conducted for 100 raw marks and to be scaled down to 50. For the self-study, I recommend two books, Fundamentals of Web Development by Randy Connolly and Programming the World Wide Web by Robert Sebista. You can also use online platforms like uh, W3Schools or uh, Geeks for Geeks to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript. All this will be easier in that. And that's a full overview of your web technology lab. If you found this helpful, drop a like, share this to your classmates and subscribe to Fun Kalike with Professor Namya for more subject breakdowns, exam tips and coding tutorials. Until next time, happy coding.